you toy collectors and action figure enthusiasts, it's time for an all new episode of Alternate Heads. And look, look, we're back in the studio. Actually, I, I, I don't want to really show that camera because it's, uh, it's quite unfortunate, really. It's, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is our, really our first show in... The other shows have been around. It's, they just but I know, but our first show in studio where you get to talk to since someone since March, yeah, and actually see someone that's not on a screen. Um, since March, man, let's uh, let me turn the music off. So, um, we we're, we're gonna have a show, everybody together. I, we live in Texas. Yes, we're still doing social distancing. I'm six feet away. Yeah, from we me wanted right now. To, we wanted to do a show. Hopefully, none of us die or anything. But we're gonna do this. Uh, our toy brother Bryce. He unfortunately um, had emergency come up. You know, uh, we're thinking about our boy. We miss him. I think we would have all enjoyed doing the show together today, but uh, that's just not in the cards. Um, I I, uh, I don't have a uh, Bryce stand up, so uh, I yet, can't. yet. Yeah, I, I'm thinking about getting one just to have it, just to have him watching over us and you know know that we miss him. Anyway. But yeah, it's an episode of Alternate Heads. We uh, it's been so long. It's been too long. If, Hopefully if we you, don't get killed from this We show. missed you. We hope you missed us. If you go to our store page, you can find posters of all of us. I've had no reason to keep the studio clean. You know, I just been, just God, it been was existing a in here. Mess. I don't care. It was kind of short notice. I don't you care. had you have kids. I, I just don't understand what. I was enjoying the extra room. I gotta, how, now how, I got to clean up a whole corner. Over how there. are your children's room cleaner than this room? They're not. My children are filthy. Filthy, filthy children. Anyway, so there is a lot to cover this week. And also, we, we it's probably... Good, it's been a good, what, six weeks? This is a good uh, six-week haul? Um, I think we're still missing some stuff, honestly, because I'm trying to remember everything from the last show, because I don't think I had a lot from the last show. But um, We struggled. We were online ordering a lot. Yeah. Uh, we did get our child figures. Um, yeah. Did we have I, those from the last show? You know, I don't... Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We did. Okay. Because we talked about... I, I showed... I with, a, with this one. See, look at that. He's so cute. I should give this away. We are giving something away. So. Oh, a little, yes. little teaser to the we'll end of the episode. Yeah, uh, it's going to be an easy one. And um, yeah, stay tuned for that. So uh, let's go ahead and get into acquisitions before we get into news. We have a lot of shared acquisitions. I want to start off saying uh, thank you for uh, uh, my birthday just passed on the 17th. A lot of birthdays around here. And, um, you know, not really much to do. Can't really go out and do anything. Go out to eat. Ain't going to happen. <laughs> or go out to <laughs> That ain't happening. I want to live. So uh, you came over and brought me the full Ghostbusters Plasma Wave, or Plasma Series, and uh, they're pretty good. Yeah. Considering I just acquired the Mezco ones, which... Was, they, they're more, but it's a... That's I still a made lot. fun of you, because you, ca you called me, and you were like, hey, man, look... I just don't think that getting the the Hasbro stuff is going to be worth it. I didn't pay, I didn't pay for them. I'm not going to do it. In fact, I'm just going to get these Mezco ones that are already on the way. And I hit you with every solid argument to destroy your actual argument. And then it just ended with, man, just let me justify my purchase, please. <laughs> I may have been uh, just trying to justify that purchase just a little bit. But I still like those. But man, I also like the Plasma series. They're I, good. I just hate that they're not the same scale. They aren't. Uh, compared, as you could probably see on the table and stuff over here, they're they're about the size of Star Wars Black Series is. Give or take. Maybe about the same size. They're not going to scale well, but that was part of the argument that you made is, man, I just can't put them in with anything. And I was like, you're right, because I'm going to definitely put my Ghostbusters next to <laughs> G.I. Joe or Captain like America. Them. I love the... Uh, They're good. Well, you didn't bring the Build-A-Figure. Uh, the huge... No, the, the, the Terror Dog. Vince yeah, the Corvo. Terror dog. No, we didn't. Uh, he's on I mean, your shelf. shelf he's he's there, on your so shelf. I, I he's, an, he's a nice figure. He's a great figure. We uh, we were talking about this earlier, but like this was a solid first wave. This is one of those waves that if they didn't make any more, I would be very happy because it's still good to own those Ghostbuster figures. It's good to have those likenesses, but... After you're playing around with these, there's such an easy way to uh, make this, like more waves. This is really good. This is uh, the jaw is very articulated and uh, make them fight my Velociraptor. 
it was it was very confusing putting them together and i don't mean that in a like oh how do i do it but like the box had like the legs on backwards yeah they did <laughs> yeah so it was like it like the picture was correct but the box said that the back legs were the front and the front legs were the back and i was like that doesn't seem right it doesn't look right it didn't so. look right so you know we managed to we managed to figure that out but and otherwise, yeah. they come with unique accessories. Um, Hasbro is not afraid and not ashamed to reuse uh, pieces. They will get their money out of a mold. Like the the amount of times we've seen that Spider Man buck, the amount of times we've seen the Winter Soldiers Captain America mm -hmm. buck, the amount of times we've seen all of it. And most of these Ghostbusters figures are all reused, which is fine. They're all in the same outfit. The head sculpts look really good. Yeah. And there are little minor differences. Like, of course, you've got Peter, who's got his untucked pants, and you've got... <laughs> you've got you've Ray got, has a pouch. Ray has a giant belly, like which, made it, which <laughs> made it really difficult to put his Proton pack on. But, like, it's really good. And, obviously, I think, like, they can make a Ghostbusters 2 wave. They can oh, totally. They could just inst use the same gears, but put them, in, put them in the gray suit that they were in Slam for at least packs. a third. You could... Uh, what what is the other one? You could give us the other terror dog. You can give us the villain of that movie, and I cannot remember his name. Vigo. Even, even though I watched it, yeah, Vigo. And then you can or give just us. Give me, a, no, just give me the painting of Vigo. I don't even think you. Uh, no, just give us Vigo himself because he did come out of the movie. Give him like a little toy baby to come with. Nah, just give me him in the painting. But anyway, and then um, who is the other? Uh, gosh, I cannot remember the name. I, I love Ghostbuster Tully? to death. Yes, thank you. You don't even have to use a different body. You just have to use. <laughs> freaking Harold Ramis' body. Because that's the outfit he wore. He With stole the earmuffs. His, yeah, he stole his suit. That's right. So it's the easiest wave two in the world. So I, I, he needs he needs the earmuffs, though. Oh, yeah. We didn't get a Slimer with this. Uh, we did not get Slimer. Okay, but there's uh, plenty of Slimers out there. And there's, there's other characters we can get, too, but... So I could see a Slimer pack maybe with something else. I don't know. Well, don't, t Slimer should come with Tony. Sticking with your uh, sticking with your new acquisitions, you got something off of eBay. Um, <sighs> yes, while drinking it on the Bay of E, I uh, <laughs> I procured the Electronic Bay. Uh, I uh, I did get the GI Joe. Uh, let me go ahead and go over to a wide shot there. I did get the GI Joe Classified Scarlet after getting Snake Eyes, uh, the deluxe one, and it was so good once I got it. And I saw the same, no, not the same seller, a different seller. Had Duke in hand. I'm like, all right. And I got Duke. And Duke is good. Who's on his way? Who, who's on his way right now? <laughs> and, and then I, I went on and got Roadblock. So, so you're only missing Destro, who you'll order after this. And Snake Eyes. Another Snake Eyes. Which I do want the other Snake I Eyes. I don't think you'll order the other Snake Eyes. I do. I, oh, I will. I, yeah. I figured, well, I figured you were going like to wait until... I figured you were going to wait until he was retail. I'm going to get the whole wave as well. I mean, we're hoping... That it will be at retail because... This episode's come out on Tuesdays, and technically mm -hmm. everything's supposed to come out on Monday. We went toy hunting, which we record on Saturdays. Nothing. Just to see... And just to see if maybe they had them in stock, but not on shelves. Yeah, like, I wasn't even going to try to convince someone to bring them out to me. I just wanted to make sure that they had them, so I wasn't going to waste my time but on Monday. But of course, all of this is because of the creeping darkness, you know, screwing things up. Which, hey, they're shipping essential items like toilet paper and cleansing products that's not as big of an issue anymore i don't have to fight for that stuff now yeah but it's we're gonna be behind a bit and you know what it's okay it's i uh, mean it's not like we're running short on anything no. it's just works yeah I, i've been waiting i've been a fan of gi joe not nearly as long as everybody else i honestly only oh, got yeah. into gi joe I've got uh, 2012 like i had a, that's when i had all of my three quarter inch i got them all at a, at a flea market and I was like, oh, I've got a box of these really cool figures. And then I got to learn more about them. And I was like, these are G.I. Joes. These are great. But then I got rid of them because I stopped being a three-quarter inch collector. But then six inch and, oh, Joes. I am so in for this line. <sighs> I, I love it. I love it. The The Duke is great. I wish uh, the Roadblock would be here Monday. I'll post some pictures. Uh, we, and we don't have any. We don't have any on the table, obviously. But can we talk about the other wave that from Hasbro that we're super excited for? Freaking Power Rangers, just yes, Lightning Collection Wave Five. It's supposed to come out. It's supposed to consist of uh -huh. Ranger Slayer, Ze uh, Zeo Gold, which was the Tray of Triforia head sculpt, mm -hmm. uh, Time Force Red, and then of course Billy, who which was completes Mighty my Morphin. collection. Well, we know that <laughs> it completes yours with your little customized version. What? No, they made that for me. And I'm Hasbro going sent to that uh, directly to me. 
now granted wave six has been rumored and i for that one as well so there's wait, a lot of rumors flying around there's a lot of rumors but then. let's let's finish the acquisitions up before we get into. well you the, talked about joe's so go ahead and talk joe's. about your last figure over well, here Well, my last figure um this was made by sentinel that is the uh, Ronin Warriors or Samurai Troopers figure. Um, Bandai has offered other incarnations of these, and they are really expensive, like $200 range. And I have not procured that. I did have the original series as a kid. I don't know what happened to them. I So I like the figure. I love the way it looks. And I posted a I, review of it. Please I go check that out on our channel. cannot stand the plastic they used. I feel like I'm going to break it every time I touch it. Now, I know it's not going to break, but it's the same feeling that you would get if you made a bottle kit. Like, as long as you take care of it, it's going to do really well. It does feel delicate at points. Um, I point out in the review, there's things I like about it, things I don't. But otherwise, it's, you know, nostalgia hit me right in the feels, and I had to have this. And also, thanks to our, uh, well, not our, um, the amazing reviewer on YouTube are really like who reminded me that I needed to order this immediately, and I did it through Hobby Link Japan. I got here really quick, by the way. So uh, actually, they follow. So gonna gonna be using them a little bit more often. Got a good deal on the fig. You should follow us on Instagram as well. And quick shipping. I mean, we I've been ordering a lot of stuff from Japan, Amazon Japan. I, I st started to want to. Like I've got a few pre-orders that you've gotten for me. To get ready for yeah i got something else for you. and <laughs> we're uh also point out nate's birthday was on the 24th that i guess that can lead into some of my acquisitions yes it's, so oh, there's yeah, gonna be one coming one it was my birthday as well we were both born in may mm -hmm. uh different years obviously we're, we're both good. both born in may uh my father decided to reach out and he gave me some money from amazon and said happy birthday go crazy and i was like okay so i and while I was partly an ass in part of my Amazon story, I did go ahead and pick up two things. I got the SH Figure Arts, The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker. See it on camera, then the close-up review. It is an okay figure. I've never had an SH Figure Arts from Star Wars yet. Me neither. So this was my first SH Figure Arts, and the reason I got this one is because I loved that outfit. I may not have loved the movie, but I loved that outfit. And the Hasbro one we have sucks. I need a new one. Yeah, we need that. We need that suit. But I needed this suit, and I look. Well, there you go. Nice job, Rick. Uh, I needed. It was Duke. Oh. Uh, I needed this suit, and I went ahead. And I decided to just go ahead, snag it, buy that one, and I gotta say that I do love this outfit. I've got some problems with it, mainly being the cloak that he comes in, and I don't like the fact that alternate heads, but alternate faces. The lightsaber is excellent. I need to, uh, you didn't bring all the accessories. I did not bring all the accessories. I they are at your house. I could have checked it out. They <laughs> are they are still in box. But I, I love this figure, so it was really good. But my big new prize winner, which is why I was kind of an ass, because I, I didn't want to get it. Instead, I was going to get uh -huh. something else. Uh -huh. I asked them to cancel my order, but then they shipped it. And then I was slightly impressed because I ordered it on Sunday. It shipped that, uh, it shipped Monday. And then it was at my uh, at my house on Tuesday. Well, the Amazon place is like right down the road from you. It too, was so. ridiculous. So I went ahead and I picked up the Mayfex Venom, which came out last year. So unfortunately, it's not going to win any Figure of the Year award. But I picked it up and I opened it and I went, oh, God, this thing's good. I like it. It doesn't ju it doesn't like move around. I don't really own any Mayfex figures. I own one. The articulation is very stiff on that. It, but that's the thing. I would rather have it be stiffer than be too loose. And that was part of my problem with Mayfex. The only Mayfex figure I have ever owned in my life is the Dark Knight, uh, the Dark Knight Joker. <laughs> this backpack is problem. Man. Hey, my Duke with the I'm backpack. Probably, I'm probably going to take, I, I just got it on there because I don't think about just taking off my snake eyes. I took it on my snake eyes. I don't display it with the backpack or the strap. But, like, the Mafex Venom, it has a nice blue hue to it, and I love that about it. The face sculpt is excellent. The spider sculpt is excellent. The accessories it comes with are excellent. It's just small. And he comes with webbing, too, right? He does come with webbing. Oh. He comes with four pieces of webbing. And it comes with its own stand. It came with three alternate heads. The one that I have, which is the smiling head, mm -hmm. comes with the open mouth head. And then it comes with an alternate neck piece with an Eddie Brock head, which is more proportionate to this figure. No tongue? No tongue. There's no tongue for Venom. But 
this figure, I know everyone likes having a big bulking monster Venom, but I never grew up with monster Venom. I grew up with this Venom. <laughs> I grew up with this one in the comics and then the one that came in the 90s TV series where he was half red and half blue instead of like the white outline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like those are the Venoms that I knew and Venom is great, huge, but Venom's just Venom and I love it. So this figure is definitely one to pick out. It's definitely worth it. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. But then during our quarantine and our toy struggles, we went to Amazon. Many an Amazon order came in. Two of which are my Fortnite Jazzware figures. I actually have another one that I forgot to bring. I got Galaxy, which was all purple. He's not see-through like oh, I thought he was going to be. Yeah. yeah, so Galaxy is really cool. I really like him. I got Molten Battlehound, and I got Ruin. There's not much to say. They're cool-looking sculpts. I still don't play Fortnite. I will never play Fortnite, but it's cool-looking sculpts. So I'm, I'm cool with getting these instead of getting the McFarlane ones because I love McFarlane. Mm. but like the plastic I, feels better. I really like what jazz Wars is doing. Absolutely. And jazz I mean, they're, they're going to be doing the halo figures, which, and they're also doing those AEW figures that I mentioned. Yeah. And they actually have shown more of those. We're getting a lot more figures by the way from uh AEW, but I'll go into that uh, a little bit later on jazz Wars, And honestly, upon hearing that jazz Wars was doing those, I was, I, I had a little bit more confidence in them because yeah. they do, Posability and to do a wrestling figure, you need posability. And I mean, depending on what Jazzwear sticks with, if they stick with the regular stuff, you're gonna get toe bends. You're gonna be able to get all those great poses you're get, you need. Um, the butterfly joint. So yeah, yeah. like these those figures look good, are... very posable. Oh yeah, they're fantastic. I love these Jazzwear ones, and I, they're they're always fun to be like, oh, I guess that's out for sale too. And people are starting to catch on that Jazzwear is really a good company when it oh, comes yeah. to these Fortnite figures. I can barely find any in stores. The only ones I can find are going to be like older series, which are the ones that look kind of plain. Yeah. Like uh, what the, whatever the robot one is. Those are peg warmers. Yeah. The, Leviathan the, and uh, there's but, a couple. Of Leviathan I actually liked, but all of the other ones that, yeah, you're right. Um, but continuing with Amazon, I went ahead and even have no knowledge of the series, except for what I get, well, started watching after I got mm -hmm. them are the new Bandai anime hero, Saint Seiya figures. You know the names better, but if let me give it a shot. I know. Go, go right ahead, sir. Pegasus Seiya is the one in red. This is Gemini, and this is Sagittarius. I. I, I know there's a certain member of our crew that uh, loves these figures. Yeah, honestly, we went out a little bit of toy hunting. Um, she picked one up. Cora picked up like one of the Bandai ones. The, the original with the Bandai shiny ones. armor and everything. The tinier ones. She would love. She these would love these. In these hand. are these fit well. They scale well. I mean, look, they're not six, really well. they're six inch. They feel good articulation wise. Nice buttery ratchet joints. The on big them. thing about Bandai's anime heroes line is they are a cheap alternative to whatever you can get. Cause those, uh, those other Bandai figures, they're like a hundred bucks, oh, yeah. but these were 20 bucks a piece and they came in relatively quickly. They've got good sculpts. If they decide to continue this line, I will keep getting them. Uh, but I'm excited for some of their future stuff, which we'll talk about in the new segment. It's very unique designs. I like them. I, I like them. The moment I picked that, the, I got Pegasus Seiya first because he was the one I was really interested in because I liked the red. I started watching the Netflix version of this series, and I like it. Apparently, that one's not good, but I'm enjoying it, which, okay, just, means that, which okay. just means that I will enjoy the other one more okay. when I get to it. Uh, but So they're really cool. I like these figures. Uh, but then following that, on a trip to visit my mother... I came across the new McFarlane Arkham Knight or Arkham Asylum Batman figures. Mm -hmm. They're okay. You know, I found that these are not on the toy aisle. They're they, on the collectibles aisle. They were in the electronics aisle. Why? I don't know. It's so confusing. That, but that's the thing, though, is a lot of them are in the toy aisle. So I, I think check. They, Do they have a different DCPI? I think DCPI? they're... I, yeah, I don't know what happened there. But I like the Batman. He's a perfect iteration of what was in that game. Too bad that game's model was horrible. Uh, the Joker is not accurate, but I love it. And the thing I like the most about this Joker, it feels like they use different plastic. Have you noticed when you were messing with it earlier? I actually liked that figure when I was messing with it. Yeah, that figure doesn't feel like other McFarlane figures where they were incredibly stiff or they felt like if I threw it at something, it was going to peel off. Like the rubber overlays they put on most of that figure made it feel more like a $20 figure that I would buy, which is why I have it. And I like the Joker. Like, I do like that Joker. It might be one of my favorite Jokers I have inside of my collection right now. So that was pretty great. Uh, 
moving on to the last thing that we had was we, we went ahead. Last things. We, okay. We X Men. We, we did find the new Age of Apocalypse wave. On uh, now, you had ordered these through. Uh, I had ordered a lot of things through Entertainment Earth. Entertainment Earth is starting to kind of let me down a little bit. They're they sent not, you one figure. They sent me Wild Child, and Which, only Wild Child. I love the chain he comes with. Which was, I wish there was a saber tooth to hold on to this chain. That's gonna be wave two. I guarantee it. Uh, Wild Child was my least favorite looking one that I wanted that entire wave. And I had it for over a month in comparison to the other ones. But then I heard that uh, X figures were starting to be released in Target. So on a lunch break, I went to Target and I found the whole wave there. Mm -hmm. And the thing that sucked the most is I had to go an entire day with an incomplete Sugar Man because yeah. my back piece was at home because they sent me Wild Child. And after you... Um... Um, after you said they were, you were going to get them. Oh no, you showed me a picture of Sugar Man, and yeah. I immediately went out, found and it at the first Target. Found first Target. First target how all of them got they're, them. And they're still there though. I went to a Target earlier today. We found uh, Wolverine. For some reason, Wolverine's the peg warmer at mine. That's weird. Man. Yeah, like I, I, out of all of, I, I think this one. D me too. Does your head pop off really easy? No. Why does yours? Yeah, it pops off really easy. No. Because the QC. Okay. So. Yeah, I, I got to say that... I so like it's the weird. translucent. It's just the, the head thing. It's weird. So this X-Men series, I was looking forward to a lot, but it's not the wave that I was looking forward to the most because Hasbro is just pumping out good figures. Like, I want Power Rangers the most. I want G.I. Joes the most. But, like, X-Men is one of those things that... Like, X-Men and that Avengers Game Reverse wave are the ones that I wanted, but I, you know, didn't want right away, and they were the ones that came out. I gotta say that from what I have, most of the wave is fantastic. I am not. I love a the X Man figure too. X Man is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorite comics when uh, they were doing the Age of Apocalypse. But this is disgusting this... thing, dude! I could smash your windshield with this, this thing. This is a hefty figure. The hefty, hefty, hefty. Sugar. Wait, which arm is your? Um... Okay, just make sure no, you. No, I, right I assembled it the right way. I followed the instructions are, on the back are of the they box. Are changeable though. No. Okay, never mind. They're supposed to be assembled that way. Okay. Uh, this Sugar Man, it's weird. I do not think, Donut, I do not think that he's going to be the number one Build-A-Figure of the year by the time we're done with the year. Yeah. But as of right now, he's at the top of that list. Um, the Jean Grey and her shoulder pads, her 80s shoulder pads. I love it. <laughs> I really do. I think it's great. The one I'm disappointed with the most is Wild Child. And then, of course, I'm disappointed with Morph. Like, I like Morph. I mean, I can make an Exiles team now. I got Blink and Look, Morph. But so. the problem with Morph is why did, at the last minute, they gave him that weird black eyebrow raise? It makes no sense. And it makes the figure kind of... Uh, trashy is not the right word. I just didn't like it. But overall, I do like this wave. I am happy it's here. My biggest problem now is I don't know when a new Marvel Legends wave is coming out. I don't think a lot of... Um, now, we are getting towards the summer. Once we get... X Men, uh, the GI Joes and the freaking Power Rangers. There will be no nothing I can keep track of by date other than Star Wars. Well, we're getting to some of the other things that came out, but the main one I think both of us uh, and this is a good one to end off on from Hasbro, the Stanley figure. Stan, it's just good, man. I as I was telling you earlier, I confirmed that because of the way this Stanley was built, it definitely shows that it was oh, yeah. meant to be that build a figure. I don't, I don't recommend doing it in case it's tightened on yours, but on mine, uh, sugar man, <laughs> uh, you Just can, everything you can pop off the legs. Yeah. I'm not doing that to stay. Yeah. I, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't knock him down like you did, but anyway, it uh, wasn't me. It was sugar man. Sure. Whatever. I have built a whole display around my Stan Lee figure, yes, which you is have. now on the floor, by the way, from some classic figures. It's like, I got the Stan Lee and then I wanted to get that Captain America that I never got, that you said was good, and the Thor, and the and the Iron Man, and now I'm like, I need all of that vintage wave now. Yeah, no, the, it. it was a good wave. Even I'm not the biggest fan of the cos. Uh, I should have gotten looks. the Hawkeye that I saw earlier today. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of like the most of the comic looks. Like mm -hmm. I, I like comics, don't get me wrong, but I'm just so attached to the MCU stuff. But even then, that 80th anniversary wave, I loved it. I loved every part of it. And I've just been throwing some classic figures in there, so just kind of like. Just definitive versions of the Marvel heroes. So anyway, man, so Superman took with, out most of the X Men. Yeah, with, yeah, with, with, like uh, 
like Marvel back in the day when they couldn't get the rights. <laughs> End all the books. End On to the, the news. Books. So, okay. Uh, news this week. I, I think the, we talked about this, but we are getting some figures from Todd McFarlane uh, in just a couple of months. I think November, we're expected, because you went in on that, uh, that Kickstarter, as I did. I did. I, I did go into the Kickstarter halfway through. I'm waiting on some more bonuses. I, I mean, I think it's going to be a while before he comes out with more bonuses. He did guarantee that we will be getting more, but I think it's going to be a while. I'm excited for Plunderlings. That we are getting some protos of those. That one's They're keeping close. us updated. Yeah, they are keeping us updated. Uh, last thing that Plunderlings, other than them being really excited for the fact that I said hi, uh, they said that everything is going great. It's going slow. They're currently waiting on the, the tooling factory to send them new test shots for approval. Uh, they expect that will happen probably in the next week or two. Um, but if that's approved, they go straight into production and they'll be able to give an update on shipping dates. So I think based off of everything that they said, we're going to probably get our plunderlings. I'm, I'm going, I mean, it, it has to be around there, but you know, if they make us wait a little longer, that's fine. This is one of those times where I'm okay with waiting a little bit because it doesn't matter when they officially come out. I've already paid for them. I don't have to worry about a surprise money coming out of my <laughs> coming out of my paycheck or whatever. I'm getting my plunderlings, and I think they're sending us an extra plunderling or two to, as a as a review. Uh, so because so, as promised by plunderlings, when we get our plunderlings. Me and Jason will probably just show up together and put all of our plunderlings together as well as the ones that they've sent us or that we'll be sending us and we'll review them for you. So keep a lookout for that and whenever we do that. Speaking of people who kickstarted things and were very successful, uh, Bobby Valla from the Valaverse. I kickstarted his Action Force line. Yes, I did not. Waiting on those figures. Don't worry, I may have ordered an extra so you could have something. <laughs> but he has entered into a senior remit to produce some more action figures. So congratulations to a guy who's worked hard and is about to achieve some well has achieved success and more is on the horizon i will say there are a lot of good companies uh, like people out there that are fans that are starting to produce mm -hmm. their own action figures who knows maybe we'll do it too down the line maybe we'll think of a concept we'll do something cool i'd love to do something like that i just don't <laughs> we'll, know if I'm we'll, tw we'll, we'll tweak it so we have <laughs> alternate heads to be us <laughs> but congratulations to somebody who's having some success in the, oh yeah in this world uh so Let's move into some news. Uh, can we start with Power Rangers Lightning Collection? Oh, absolutely. We can start with Power Rangers. So I am super thrilled. We had our first Fan First Friday uh, a couple weeks back, Power mm -hmm. Rangers Lightning Collection. Much and better done than the, uh, the Black Series one. And it, same thing with Marvel ones, man. Uh, the Mar Mar Marvel was a little rough. But uh, Marvel was, was better. they were better than they have ever been. Okay, there. But black, like the Power Rangers one was short and sweet. It was five minutes long. The woman came in there and was like, bam, bam, here you go. And I can't tell you whether or not these are going to be the... I don't think these are the San Diego Comic-Con ones that they're wanting to do because they kind of tease some of the San Diego Comic-Con yeah. stuff. But definitely there's a Pulse exclusives. First one that they're doing, and I don't have a picture for it, is the Putty 2-pack. I have that picture, so I'll be putting it up. We talked about this. We were so pissed that people did we because me i don't think me and you went out and bought extras Ooh. we didn't we got the one putty and we were good but then they announced that they were doing the putty two pack and i went i just need one army building hasbro is doing really good with army building right yeah now. i think they they listened to what we said when we said that that was a bad idea and but, we'll go we'll get into about the army building later on for the other lines but a putty two pack. I love the effects that come with it. They got the the classic like something hits the chest and it explodes. You can't. I cannot tell you how hard it was to only click on one of them. I did consider it. I don't army build, but even when it came to the putties, I felt like I needed it. At least one. But yeah. all said and done, I will have a total of three putties, so I'm good. Uh, the other one they came out with was uh, from the comics, Psycho Green Trek. Mm -hmm. He does uh, not come with an alternate head, unfortunately. And you know what? None of the Psycho Rangers do. So. Well, the other Psycho Rangers were all robots. This Psycho Ranger was an original human. Right. So I'm okay with it. But I'm okay with it, too. Yeah. It looks good. It looks like a Psycho Ranger. And Man, people are like, that oh, dagger. I've heard a lot of crying about it. But oh. yeah, I'm yeah. good. Yeah, a lot of people are crying about it because they have no interest. But you have to realize that I love the comics, personally. Mm -hmm. Psycho Green, while I don't know a lot about them, give me anything from this line, which is truly 360 what I was at when this line started. You give me anything, I'll buy it. I pre-ordered that the moment it went up. And I was excited, honestly, when they announced Ranger Slayer, because I'm like, oh, we're getting figures from the comics, too. I was excited when they announced Draken. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. We 
you got dragon. He was, from the comic, he so. was a comic book. He was a comic book figure too. So, so we got Ranger a lot Slayer. of ground to cover, which is something we got into about. Like, I said they were too slow. I didn't think so at first until I realized how much it was, and then I realized that there. And that was because I was comparing it to Marvel. Mm-hmm. The moment I realized how many Marvel figures we started getting, how many other figures from Hasbro we started and getting, I Star laid Wars. out how many figures yes. we could potentially get from a Power Rangers line. I don't want to wait 10 years to complete teams. I don't. Because I think I, I came up with 140 or something. Yeah. We got a Somewhere long, around there. long way to go. And that was just main Rangers. That wasn't even Tillens. And I didn't even count like the new series. Uh, Di- uh, what was it? Uh, Dino Fury or something like it's that. Di- uh, yeah, it's Dino Fury. Okay. Di- is it Dino Fury? Okay, whatever. It's Dino something. I'll look it up. Anyway. I want I want figures from that line, though. Yeah, I like those figures. Um, but the other one um, they announced, well, we're getting a new uh, a new Morpher. We are. Pow- it's going to be a Walmart exclusive. I love the stand that it comes on because mine just kind of sits excited i could have pre-ordered this immediately and i didn't um so I'll, i'm guessing i'll have a in store. And i have both legacy morphers so it's not high on my list but it's 60 and if i'm passing by it in a in a walmart i'm probably i'm gonna pick it up yeah. i'm definitely going to but can i just say my excitement for this next one? go ahead it is a walmart exclusive unfortunately lucky yes. for me i've already got mine uh i got my pre-order in but they announced a 30 dollar two pack which I'm so glad it was 30, of a two-pack of Alpha 5 and Zordon. <laughs> Zordon looks a little weird. Uh, definitely doesn't look like the artwork on the back of the package, which that looks fine. But th- I get what they were trying to do. Maybe this, it's just a bad lighting. They are re- It comes with a the light. They are recreating. This is his tube from what? It was in space or Lost mm-hmm. Galaxy? No, I think this could be either. Uh, I'd have to look. I'd have to. Yeah, it, it's one of those. But Alpha <laughs> Not Lost Galaxy. Right. Alpha 5 looks astounding. Looks like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in for Alpha 5. I'm so excited. This Zordon looks good. I know a lot of people were excited about Zordon for two reasons. One, they could buy more than one. And if you bought another one, you could use this one as the supreme intelligence. But I love the way that this looks. I'm glad that they're only charging you $10 for that hunk of plastic with lights. But I'm excited. Uh, I want to say that Alpha 5 and him are supposed to come out in September. I'm I'm in for it, but the other one that um we found on this morning. Amazon French. Oh yeah, there's that talk about the one we found this morning. Now these two, they're links that have been found, but we can't don't but after salt. translating it from the adverti- from the, the Amazon page from French, it's basically S D Omega Ranger. We'll be getting that and his bike, which Ooh, I, I, I really like that Omni Wheel bike. I know a lot of people are like kind of groaning about it. You want the bike. Okay, the Omega Max Cycle. My, my that, issue yeah, the, is... Uh, no, that's a Zord. Sorry. I will buy every Power Ranger figure that they, they reveal to us. My issue is, is I don't want this to be like Hasbro where they're like, oh, we're going to start giving you vehicles. I I will buy the figure, but don't I don't want this to be like an everyday occurrence type thing. But I'm I'm excited, I'm ready. I like uh, the Unifor cycle. That's what it's called, or Omega Max cycle. I'm just ready for more Rangers, which brings me into the next one, which oh. I'm excited about because I have obviously everyone has their favorite teams. Uh-huh. So we'll start off with the apparently there's going to be a Ranger Psycho Ranger team pack that was this link was found earlier today as well. And while people are speculating that it could be a six pack be a five pack mm. i don't think they're gonna do that i think it's gonna be a three pack like most people where they're gonna give us the yellow the black and the pink rangers all at once because i guarantee you they'll do silver at the same time but they'll do it as like a as like a two pack like we did with the galaxy okay i think that's what's gonna happen so and we'll maybe I, get our first in space ranger this is true uh, in space is rumored for uh wave six mm-hmm. which we can talk about but I'm excited because there's also a link to a Dino White Ranger. And I love the Dino Thunders. Like, they're not... <laughs> the season was rough. But I loved them because I loved the Black Ranger. I loved that Tommy came back. I loved all of that. So I'm really excited. If we're going to start tackling Dino Thunder. Then that means I get closer to getting Dino Thunder than I thought. And the next thing I need is Wild. It's Wild Fury, isn't it? Wild Charge? Wild Fury? 
Wild Force. Wild Force. I don't know. Why. There's so many. Okay, mine, and I realized after looking at some uh, Jungle Fury, I want the uh, I um, Geki Violet in the uh, Geki Ranger, which was the Japanese equivalent. But he was the Wolf Ranger, and I always liked the Wolf Ranger because he did uh, Thai boxing. Like he always had, he always was throwing elbows and knees and everything. I loved his fighting style, and I did. I forgot how much. I like that particular ranger. I don't really care too much for Jungle Fury, but I do like the Wolf Ranger because also in Geki Ranger, his morpher when he opened it up, there was a bell that would ring and he would morph inside of a inside of a, a boxing ring. <laughs> but it would ding and then it would go to him in the boxing ring. See, that that's why I have such a personal attachment to like the original series, but. Because they were airing reruns when I was a kid. Right. But the ones that were playing live when I started officially watching Power Rangers was Wild Force and Dino Thunder. They were I went to. And, you know, I'm excited to see that uh, those are starting to come in eventually. I mean, I would like Wild Force, but Dino Thunder, I'm good. Yeah. So we better start tackling some of this other stuff. So um, We got a lot. Yeah. Um, Hasbro has been doing these Fan Fridays. You want to start with Marvel? And they've been doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and start with, I think that's the top of the list in the picture. So It is. We'll start with the Retro Wave. Uh-huh. So we already knew about the Retro Wave. We knew we were going to get an updated Spider-Man. We knew we were going to get Gwen with the Mary Jane head and a Peter Parker head, which I will be doing all sorts of head swaps there. But, like, I'm excited to get those. But then they revealed the last three figures of that wave, which, of course, are going to be Green Goblin, new and approved, I think the, the animated series. I think the eyes are a little wonky. Oh, they bother me. But you know what? It's Green Goblin. He's supposed to look weird. It, it did look weird in the cartoon. I see what they were going for. I don't think it translated well. Um, I am liking the Electro. It's on a new body. It is. And new. He uh, is buff. New, and new jazz hands. <laughs> he's been, he's been working hands. out. Um, I'll probably do a head swap with that one, too, even though I do like the, the I'm giant missing. lightning. Electro. I so never got into it. It was I need before it my, my time. Sinister Six show. So or I'm glad Sinister Electro's Eight. on his way. Can we talk about how we didn't think we were going to get this Daredevil? Look, a lot of people do not like the armored Daredevil from I the 90s. I do. I did too. I passed up on almost every comic book Daredevil we have. I sold every single one that I own. The only Daredevil figure I have in my collection is the MCU one. It's, But I will get this one. Yeah, I have the... Um, one of the red suits, but I think it was the best version that came out. And mm-hmm. I had no interest in the yellow suit. No, I, I, I had no interest in some no, of the uh, in some of the other ones, but uh, the black suit is what it was. This armored one, oh yeah. And I'll, I'm gonna say it looks like they reused the Cyclops head. Okay, it does. It, it does. They painted the hair red. They reused the Cyclops head. But here's the thing: they it's all new sculpt. I'm never gonna put that that head on there anyway. No, either am I. I'm going to use that. The only time I may put that head on or something is if I get a spare, like, suited body. I already have a MCU Matt Murdock figure made using a spare suit and then super gluing a he- uh, the head on to a peg. It just wouldn't stay. You know, Daredevil has gotten quite a few figures in Marvel. He yeah. got a Shadowlands figure. Daredevil is one of my favorite figures growing up. He got that Shadowlands figure with the black suit and the red D on it and the little the taped up. Things. Yeah, we got the the red one. We got the the white and black. So he's one. gotten he's gotten some love in the Marvel uh, in the uh, Marvel Legends universe. They have done a lot of teases for what else is coming with the Retro Wave. They said the Retro Wing, especially with Spider Man, because we got Kingpin on the way, which I'm excited for. Mm-hmm. We've got they teased that they're probably going to do Lizard. Yeah. Uh, who was the other one? They did, they had one more that was Retro. I can't remember right now. Um, It'll come back to us. So, um, moving on, they did announce another Walgreens exclusive. A full white suit Moon Knight, which I did not like that suit one. I I did. it. So, I loved it. The white one looks good. Oh, Mysterio. That's what it was. Huh? Mysterio. Oh, Mysterio. That's right. It comes with a different head, too. But we talked about Mysterio. Yeah, they they revealed. They did finally reveal. ghostly head or something. I was so excited that they revealed it. Now, the Moon Knight, however, looks like the articulation is better. This is another buck. This is a different buck. Um, I think big, everyone's biggest problem with the Moon Knight originally was the giant armor pieces, yeah, which I suck. actually did like. Mm. But they do come, uh, this new Moon Knight will come with the, the black head yep. as well, in case you like that look. I do think that this new Moon Knight is going to be amazing. I have already an actual staff, not a. Yeah, they used Gambit staff. Ah, okay. <laughs> I love the. Thank you, Gambit. Thank you, Gambit. <laughs> 
Yeah, I pre-ordered mine. Yeah. Uh, the next one, um, continuing with Age of Apocalypse. Himself. Apocalypse himself. We got some packaging photos. He went up for pre-order. I've pre-ordered him. I'm doing a lot of online pre-ordering now, and then I just cancel the pre-order if I find yep. it in store. That's pretty much been my MO for a while. Yeah, so we did that one. Uh, Roadie, who I am not getting. I like the Roadie. I love this this war machine. I, I think All it looks good. All of those effects. I, have, I had to be a little choosy. I do not want the war, uh, did not want this roadie. I do think it looks good. That flat top, man. And all of these blasting effects that he comes with from the boots, all of his guns, you can really make roadie just load him up. So uh, I'm getting that. And then, of course, we're getting our aim soldiers. Got to have more build figures. I mean, more uh, army, army builders. builders. I still haven't done the Hydra one. I need to do the Hydra one just so I can make Hydra Bob. Yeah, but, we uh, have to have Hydro Bob. Hydro Bob is on my plus. I will not be getting the aim uh, just because I have no real connection to it. I never, I w- really, I never really liked the beekeepers. I was going to say that right now. <laughs> but they are, I mean, if you a lot of people do army build, and here's your chance to get it. Uh, we are getting more looks at things like Gene, uh, Rogue. This was, figure was supposed, to be, was supposed to come out years ago. And we are getting an alternate head for it. An angry head. It's still not ones that people wanted. I'm own a rogue in my collection period so I'm, I'm excited to get this one i know it's hard to find the, she does uh, have the pinless technology i i'm hoping i'm waiting to get one of those figures in hand i am too i really so, want to see how good they how good it actually is pinless uh we went to old man hawkeye looking good good accessory with the bow comes with an alternate head mm-hmm. give him that and look i want to say that he's a two-pack with old man logan think so I, that's what I'm pretty sure they said in the thing, but we'd have you double check, quote me on that. Uh, then they teased this Scottish foot. <laughs> this is Sebastian Shaw. This is the Black King, the leader of the Hellfire Club. Because yeah, well, he's the he was the villain in Origins, wasn't he? Uh, X Men. He was played by uh, Bacon. Oh yeah, yeah. He was. Uh, God, I don't want to talk about that. Movie. I actually love that movie. Okay. It's my favorite one. Okay. The guy Darwin was killed immediately. He was supposed to be unkillable. Yeah, that is de- only Sebastian Shaw is going to wear them stupid ass shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, let's talk about Nimrod. Nimrod looks good. I love the different heads for Nimrod. Which he is a deluxe figure. I'm okay uh, with that. The blast effects look really good. Those are unique blast effects. So they announced that the deluxe figures are going to be figures that they want to put, that they wanted to get out there without making them build the figures per se. That's fine with me. And I'm okay with that. It's It frees up extra spots for build the figures. But Sugar Man was not meant to be a build a figure if there wasn't if they didn't give up that spot for Apocalypse. Like if you don't make Apocalypse into a deluxe figure and release him, Sugar Man never makes the screen. Which still like still like Sugar Man. God, it, it's it's Sugar it's, Man. It's a disgusting figure. But anyway. Oh, <laughs> it's absolutely horrendous. But but the biggest oh, reveal. There's two reveals technically. Okay, they we're gonna say ne- the biggest one for last. They but. said next year we will be getting our biggest. Uh, build a figure so far, and I don't think this is a build a figure. I have to say, this has got to be Haslabs. Has to be. So at the um, Marvel pres- conference presentation teaser, teaser, he put up a Jubilee figure, he put up a Wolverine figure, and then he put up a ham hock of a leg that basically Jubilee did not even come up to the calf. She of half of the calf. This thing was just the leg, and Jubilee came to half of that calf, which makes me ask. Are they going to make me try to pay $400 for a Sentinel I don't have room for? So, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, and yeah, that that that's definitely a Sentinel. I know some people are like, it's Galactus. No, no it's, it's, a, it's, a it's a Sentinel. It's a Sentinel. That's the reason you put X-Men figures on. Shut up. It's not Galactus. It's a Sentinel. I bet and Galactus thing, is going to be our build a figure next year. Dude, this is huge. This is enormous. So the average, what, Jubilee is, what, she's about just under six just inches? Just under six inches. Wolverine's even smaller than that. So this leg was at least God. a foot long. Oh, yeah. It, it's got to no, be. A, it's got, it, no, it had to be at least a 15-inch leg. It's it's enormous. It's huge. Like, I, there's no way. Like, the giant sentinel we've already gotten, I have shoved in a box somewhere because I don't have room for it. I ended up selling mine. Unfortunately, and I don't know. I shouldn't have done. That. I still have mine, but I, I just I don't know what I will do with that. But I, I have to see the final product before I decide to say yes. Here's three hundred dollars. I think I'm, I'm with you. This is not a build a figure. 
This is HasLab. There, you can't package it with that leg. No. My bud, no. my buddy was like, if it's a build a figure, then it's build a figure in parts. Like you have to buy this all these waves It'll to be get like this that, fi- that Hulk leg. wave where they did Fing Fang Foom. I never got he, that and one. And he was in two waves. I had him and I sold them all. I really wish I had Fing Fang Foom, but I'm hoping that Marvel Legends will come back around with Fing Fang Foom. It was huge. I sold it off. I, I, I was trying to get rid of things and build a figures were just taking up too much space. I mean, some of those build a figures were huge. Like I'm waiting to get my Galactus. I, was, I had him all, and, and Giant Man and Gaku. those those Toy Biz figures were before my time. They were before I started collecting. Right. I was still maybe being a three quarter inch collector. I I just wouldn't look at six inch because I thought twenty dollars is too much money for one toy. Yeah, how times have changed. Oh, anyway. absolutely. So, all right, let's uh, let's get... can, let's keep on with the Hasbro train while we're here. Let's go to Star Wars. I hate you, Star Wars. I hate you so much. So, I hate you from the bottom of my heart. There was first Friday. Sadly, no. But they went ahead and did a giant reveal for a bunch of Star Wars figures that we already knew about. First thing they did was put all of the figures we already knew were coming up for pre-order. So we had the new Star, uh, we had the new Troopers, both of them. We had uh, the Mandalorian in his Beskar armor, of course, Darth Vader, Snow Trooper Luke. Admiral Akbar, Tebow, all of those. But the biggest reveal was the fact that they are changing the packaging to have this, like, what what would you say it's called? Um, they said this is phase four, they're calling it. Um, they're basically adding a splash of color in, but it looks like they are color coding it to Based the series. Based off of the series. So um, with this image that you got, uh, we, uh, we're getting another, we already were getting another clone. Yep. So we got the Mandalorian set. We got the Return of the Jedi set, which is coming with Admiral Akbar, which is a very much needed figure. Yeah, we need this. I, I I pre-ordered every single one of these figures except for the ones I had. So uh, but, we're getting uh, Empire Strikes Back, and Vader then, and uh, Luke and Hawk that's here. Attack, I believe, is the next one. Attack of the Clones. That's the uh, Clone Trooper. Yeah, that's what that's the one I'm referencing. Yeah, that one's yellow. Yeah, and then of course Jason's anger goes all the way towards it. It came to my anger too. They did reveal that they are re-releasing through fan channel all of the Rebels, including a new reveal, Big Bad Boy Zeb. We gotta get, I, I've been waiting for Zeb to become available because I have all of my Rebels on a shelf. I love that series. I Even I got crew, all the Rebels. And I I've paid been a waiting little bit on extra. Zeb, but just to put some salt in the wound for Jason waiting patiently for a Zeb figure. Oh, by the way, we're going to redo all of the heads look better. Chopper and Ezra don't have any updates to them because they were already released with that like face. Same. Chop, yeah, Chopper's the same. Well, Chopper doesn't have a face. What are Chopper we doesn't about? have a face. He's okay. a, he's a drum. Uh, he's a robot. But uh, you've got Ezra's the exact same. But they're re-releasing the those because those those were like, hey, here you go. And if you didn't get the then in there, it was gone. But the Kanan, the um, Ahsoka, Hera, and Sabine. They're all new head sculpts, and I need a new Sabine because my her eyes was she's watching a tennis match and not turning her head. Yeah, I'm just I, gonna say that. I had a lot of issues with some of mine, and like I liked them. Even I would like barely could see some of the pictures and went, "Are those updated heads?" And I, I ended up doing like three different orders, and I managed to get them fused into and one. I hate but these updated heads because I saw the Lando today while we were out. I didn't get it, but oh, I, did I did get the Yoda because this one looks a lot better than. I, I did get the... I got I, crazy eyes, Yoda, over I here. did get the, the Lando, but yeah, I went and ordered off Dark Side toys. I decided to give them another shot, uh, and Dark Side had a photo, and if it wasn't for Dark Side, I wouldn't have ordered the Rebels, because they had photos of pictures of them side by side to show you that they had changed colors on some of the figures, and they updated the faces, and it wasn't until I looked at Sabine, and I was like, that doesn't look updated. That looks about right, and then I saw the photo next to it, and I went, oh, oh yeah, it has been. order, order. Overall, I, I I'll be hitting in September. This is going to make me buy more of uh, that uh, reissue line because I got most of it. But yeah, I this passed, Yoda head looks a lot better. I passed on Yoda, but I may have to I have to take a look at my current Yoda and see if I did get. I it. saw you looking at mine. Well, that's the thing though is I couldn't tell if my Yoda because I don't think I got that Yoda. I think I got the next re-release when they did them in the vintage wave. Oh, okay. So I want to say that mine is updated, but I have to double check. All right. So I was trying to look at it, and I was trying to figure out what the difference was. Uh, getting away from Hasbro, <laughs> uh, we'll go on to Amazing Yamaguchi, which finally put up their pre-order for all my... 
And boy, he's a big boy. <laughs> All Might's got so much stuff to him. He's got that amazing pose ability. He scales in with that Midoriya. He's got alternate faces. He's got alternate effects, alternate hands. He's got alternate eyes. He's got automatopias. <laughs> I am so ready for this these Yamaguchi figure. figures. I'm going to be so happy to own my eighth All Might. It but... poses so well, and that's the, that's, the, that's the strength of Amazing Yamaguchi. These poses look great. This thing will look great displayed on your shelf. I will give you that. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I, I can't wait for Midoriya to get here, and I can't wait for All Might to get here. They are coming in separate months, but they're supposed to be here in the next couple of months, so I'm going to get Midoriya first, then All Might will come, and I'll be very happy. Uh, but sticking with My Hero, Bandai finally put up promotional pictures for their anime heroes line for My Hero Academia Wave. Oh boy. Which has All Might, Midoriya, and Bakugo, and they all look good. All Might looks a little bubbly. He looks a little gangly but at his head. If you, but... There's a picture of him next to the McFarlane figure, and he's taller. I'm sold. Okay. Yeah, he, this he, my, Damn. He is taller than the McFarlane figure. He's got a bigger head sculpt, and while I do Oops. think he looks a little bubbly, I... I'm, I love the Dragon Stars line. I mean, heck, we got the, the Anime Heroes Saint Seiya line here. I might get this. So they're a good, cheap, affordable option. I mean, they're, they're no amazing Yamaguchi figure that's coming out. But I'm excited. These things look good. They're right around the corner. They're the, supposed to be the here. The Bakugo looks a little too calm. But here's the thing, though, is the Bakugo has a better gauntlet system. Like, the other one, the McFarlane ones, were too huge. Yeah. So I'm excited for this Bakugo. These are supposed to hit in August. And I do like the Midoriya. That's that, probably my favorite that Midoriya, Midoriya I've seen. Midoriya looks amazing. So this might be where Jason gets a couple of my hero figures because I do like the series. Let's go SH and, of course, Mayfex again. Mayfex put up their uh, solicitations for their Beskar Armor Mandalorian. Oh, boy, it's going to be a run to just your wallet so <laughs> that's the thing though is i i want this too but i've already ordered so many black series versions of the beskar armor i'm going to stick with the black series Mesca, uh beskar but, the uh, child. but the child. i know i know <laughs> but i'm gonna pass it up i do like mayfex this venom really helped me with mayfex it's gonna help me when i like my uh spider verse figure that comes in next month Woo! I'm excited, but that looks good. But sticking with Star Wars, though, SH Figure Arts show that they are revealing their IG-11 from The Mandalorian. Uh -huh. I may have to get that. The The Hasbro one is awful. But I... As I look accusingly of Fred Meyer. <laughs> it's, it's not a good figure. Like, it's good for what we got, but SH Figure Arts, especially after me now getting this uh, Luke Skywalker, I'm going to need this IG-11. Considering in Empire Strikes Back, the most we see IG-88 doing is sitting there. His head doesn't turn. Literally, that thing is a statue. But, man, with they put him in some poses to show you. But in the show, he is moving about. He is doing things. That's seen on the speeder bike. That is that is posability right there. So, yeah, already I can see this IG-11 is doing a lot more uh, pose-wise than mine can currently do. And, and I then, love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get that IG. Maybe I just don't try hard enough to get this guy posed correctly. But no, I, I have tried. It doesn't work. <laughs> okay. SH Figure Arts also put out their promotional pictures for their brand new Iron Man Mark I armor. I love that armor. It looks good. It's got photo real eyes behind the uh, helmet as well. I don't know if the helmet will come up. I don't think it will. Probably not. But I'm, I'm half considering getting this armor, but I don't think I will because I don't own any SH figure arts mm. other than Tony Stark. It's one of those I'm going to admire from far. Yeah, I'll probably let that one slide. And then my last thing in news, as all the news we pumped out, is the potential leak of G.I. Joe's Classified Wave 2. Malaysia had a theme park that they're doing for G.I. Joe, and they kind of let slip with some art that they may be showing with uh, the second wave, which we think could be something like it shows Red Ninja, it shows Baroness, it shows Cobra Commander, uh, and then, of course, it shows Snake Eyes, which is apparently getting some backlash because of the giant arm tattoo, but I don't think Hasbro cares enough to change it. And that could just be something they just threw out there so they could put some... You Storm Shadow. Thank you. What did I say? You said Snake Eyes. Did I? I definitely well that's because he fights snake I, eyes. I do I do love that Baroness and of course we're, we're eventually getting a Cobra Commander. It's gonna happen. We're gonna definitely get all of them, but I, I actually think that the the way Storm Shadow looks is fine. 
I mean, I have already kind of I've gotten yeah, used we're gonna to, get updated versions of these. I've gotten used to it already. I'm ready. Just give me just give me the Joes. Just, give me Storm Shadow. Give me give me give me the Joes. All right, I think I have less stuff, but we we talk jointly about things. Cool. I'm out of breath. Six six inch line. So um getting on with some Mayfex stuff. We did get some solicitations for the Mayfex worthy cap and wow man. This is the kind of stuff that Mayfex does that makes me just want to buy this figure because it looks like Chris Evans stepped off the screen. He has all of it with the hammer, spinning, lightning, the busted up shield, uh, entertainment shield. Oh. he can hold his mask. This looks good. I don't get Mayfex, but I mean, if I can convince you to get it, that way I could see it. This would be a win for me. Yeah, I'm excited. The other solicitation was a Gambit. And also, speaking of our friend Cora, <laughs> this is something that she wants desperately. Gambit is one of her favorite figures. Dare I say a thirst for it. But uh, <laughs> it looks really good. You can This jacket has wire in it. You can take it off of him. I feel like that you have those black sleeves with the, the slashes down the side. Can I just... Can I just say I don't understand most of her thirst? They vary so so differently. She wants the fish. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but the um, the gambit does look good. Good effects with uh, the cards and the jacket with the wire through it. The staff has got energy effects on it. Good good amount of accessories on this one. Yep. But somebody else get it so that I can see it, and that's it. I I won't be getting it. I may get, get the cap. Get it, get it, get it, get I may. Get it. I think. I don't have any emotional attachment to Gambit. Anyway, so yeah, um, both that, of those figures look phenomenal. Up. Good effects on, good effects with them too. Uh, one of the big reveals uh, from Hasbro as well. Oh boy, we get back to that. Hasbro. Yeah, um, the uh, large scale Scorponok figure, which I am behind on these. I didn't get Trypticon. I didn't get Fortress Maximus. Who? Well, I have Metroplex somewhere. Uh, answer the question. I don't have room. I don't have what room. are you talking about? You can take down all these posters <laughs> and put more shelves up. <laughs> but um, the Scorponok looks really good. I want it. I just don't know where I would put it. Um, the Earthrise and War for Cybertron line. I also did not get Omega Supreme, and I really want it. I just don't think I have room for these giant figures. But we're moving on from Earthrise, that Starscream we got, fantastic. I love that Starscream in his Earth mode. And I almost bought the Thundercracker from War for Cybertron and because I wanted the Sky Warp because I have to have the Seekers, but I resisted the urge. But the Star is so much better than the War for Cybertron one. My God, I, I, I don't collect Transformers. No. I pick up the occasional here and there. You managed to hand me an Optimus Prime with no backpack. And I had to go out and buy one myself. The Earthrise, is, the Earthrise line is good. It's significantly better. I liked the original line that they did, the Rise for uh, the Rise figures. War for Cybertron. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not, Nathan don't know. No. Uh, but I will admit that you handed me that Starscream. That's good. I would get this one. But so, I, you know, I'm not going to. And then they, uh, we've got uh, more images of the Thundercracker and Skyward, which would be a two-pack offered at Target coming out this uh this summer, actually. Yep. Now, you put... And they have different head sculpts, too. They all have different head sculpts than Starscream. You put two of them in a package together, I'm going to get them, okay? <clears throat> These are really good. I wish I had um, some mastery slide, but anyway... Can I'm I just say these. that at least these look way better than anything that the Bay designs have put? Anyone who would want a masterpiece figure from Bay, I mean... God, Jason would probably shoot them right then and there. So Figure King Magazine put out new solicitations as well for uh, the next Masterpiece movie series, Starscream figure, which is not a great design. However, this transition from jet to robot looks really good. There's not a lot that you can see, even though Bay's transformations were just kind of wackadoo. Anyway, but there's also a solicitation for the new RC for Masterpiece Transformers, which I will not be getting. I do not like this figure. It's just, I, I know this is going to sound shallow and weird. Go on. You're only the, being recorded. The breastplate for the figure is too far down. And they've had a chance to fix this. It's, it does not look like the figure from the cartoon. 
and it makes her neck piece like look really long. I just it's got the Scarlet Witch original Marvel Legends problem, mm -hmm. where they made the neck the neck way too long and they put the breast piece too far down yeah. to fit something that it shouldn't have. But that being said, there's been so much of that figure already. Um, with some additional weird accessories that you shouldn't buy. No, no, that was the fan I, stories. I know, rumors, I know that's a which different line. I have. But I know that's a different line. And I'm sticking line. with that one. So, but I'm just saying that, um, yeah, you're right. It does look a little wonky. I'm just not going to get it. It's just not for me. I, I have not pre-ordered that at all. Um, it's just going to be a hard pass for me. Um, Thirst isn't strong enough. The other one, though, I am excited for. Another Mezco release. We did get that retro Wonder Woman that came out not too long ago. The more modern day Wonder Woman. They released some images of that. This looks really good. I love the armor. She comes with she comes with a spear. She comes with an axe and a shield. This is my warrior that I am ready for right here. And I think this is going to make a good addition. And this is definitely a different buck than the movie Wonder Woman that I have in here. And I don't like that buck on the movie on the uh, Mezco movie Wonder Woman. This one, however, looks really good. The cloth goods on the skirt piece look fantastic. Just I am. Ready for this fig. Definitely a must buy. Going to buy. Absolutely have to have. And I love the one. Very, very serious. Like, I'm getting ready to kick your butt. And then a, I'm going to kick your butt. <laughs> I'm mentally preparing myself to whoop you. And now I'm going to whoop you. So, looks good. Oh, but I, I did pass. I did miss something on Transformers. This Monday, right after the show airs. Uh, right before the show airs, they will be announced the, announcing the next Masterpiece movie, Transformer, which everyone's saying is Ratchet. And that will complete our movie Autobot team, so all four. Bring it on with the Ratchet. It's got to be Ratchet. If it's not Ratchet, we riot. <laughs> um, having gotten the uh, Storm Collectibles, my first Storm Collectibles, Jushin Thunder Liger figure. Man, Storm Collectibles. And how good this figure is. They really came out of nowhere, too, with us. Like, we had no intention of getting one, and then out of nowhere, they were like, hey, Sub I got Sub-Zero. I was like, I'll give it a shot, and then... They're really good figures. And it was all because of the... It, Storm Collectibles is making the Injustice 2 figure, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was like, I'll get one so I can see if I want to get that Superman. I'm getting that Superman. And um, one of my favorite games growing up was Samurai Showdown. I used to play this one in high school. Um, I actually went to... Uh, El Centro uh, Community College for my high school program. And they had arcade games in the of the building. And Samurai Showdown was one of the games. And my main was Hao Maru. Well, they're making Samurai Showdown figures. And the first figure is Hao Maru. After having bought Jushin Thunder Liger, I'm getting this. It's It looks really good. He's big. He's beefy. He's got his sword. He's got his drinking liquor <laughs> up to his back <laughs> as he needs to have in his game. His his sake back there and uh, comes with an effect for the sword, interchangeable heads, the hair. The hair is crazy. The hair is all over the place, and I love it. Going to get this big. Uh, Going to finish it off with one uh, near to my heart, but I don't know how sold I am because these are supposed to be pretty expensive, but a company called Media DHX in uh, association with Five Pro Studios is making an Inspector Gadget figure. Uh, he comes with a ton of accessories, a base, an arm. If he can go, go, Gadget, do it. It comes in uh, these hands, interchangeable eyes. The hat, of course, does the helicopter thing. Extending legs, arms, the umbrella. The figure does not look bad at all. Don't know if I want it. It does look good, and there there are some people out there that want old Inspector Wow's gadget. The problem I have is the other figures that comes along with it. You've got Chief Quimby, Penny, and what was the dog's name? Brain. Brain. These I, are very static figures. They're I not figures. I am not attached to this line. I liked Inspector Gadget growing up. Mm -hmm. I did not like it this much. Mm -hmm. But, you're, I mean... You have to look at it this way. They didn't want to invest the money to put towards this line. They're not going to make anyone else besides Inspector Gadget. Like, it's not going to just come out of nowhere and be like, oh, we're going to continue this Inspector Gadget line for the next eight years. It's 
Here are the other figures that'll look good next to him. They will not pose, but they oh, do have alternate pieces. It's called Mega Hero, as the, as the company says. Yes. It's one of those things where they, this, is the, this is a one and done thing. Pretty much. Uh, if they produce a line, okay. I'm on the fence. I do like the gadget, but it's, I don't know. I don't uh, know if I have the attachment. I won't get it. Bryce might get it. Looks good, though. Does look good. So I think that is all that we had this week for uh, Toy Talk. It was a lot. It was a lot. I love these Hasbro Pulse uh, Fridays that they're doing. Okay, They need it, to do more of these. I'm ready for them to get to the SDC stuff. We're about to hit June. When this episode comes out, June already hits. When is SDC normally? End of June? Mid-June, actually. Mid-June? Yeah. We've got to be coming close. They've been teasing a lot of stuff that's coming for different, for like possibly stuff. Like, of course, we're getting another MCU related uh, SDC figure, another Mar uh, another Marvel. We're probably going to get a, uh, I don't think Joe's are going to be a part of it. We are definitely getting another Rangers thing. I It's just, get, give me my SDC stuff. Let me order from NECA. Let me order from, uh, God, who, just Marvel, Hasbro, stuff. I think we're, uh, yeah, we're about, yeah, mid-June is about when uh, we should start getting announcements. And it's going to be interesting how companies are going to be handling this, considering that the pandemic is still here. And pretty much cons are canceled for the year. Oh, I miss cons so much. But, you know, don't want to die. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I know they made SDC set the whole, like, SDC at home. I don't know if they announced a, a date. Um, not sure, uh, when, I mean, uh, they can do this at any, we are doing, that, that was more of a joke, the SDCC at home, you know, full of parking, snacks, comfortable chairs, no lines, so, um, I'm eager to see, I think Hazard's been doing pretty well with the, uh, yeah, I mean, the normal, Friday reveals, we would be in it's a keeping dry, interest. We'd be in a dry spot right now because of SDCC, it's the same way we are with Toy Fair. But no, this is true. Yeah, we would normally be in a dry, a dry spell right now. We just wouldn't know what to do. But now they're just kind of like, ah, here you go. So I am wanting a full on hey reveal. Tell me what you tell me what we're getting this year. So yeah, other than that, I don't think we got anything. Uh, well, I got shout a shout outs. out. Shout outs. I got I, shout outs. I don't have a shout out. I got a shout out. I know. I have the shout out. Uh, I want to give my. Shout rebel 10 customs they have uh they do really well she's uh she's absolutely great she does a lot of stuff for whoosh uh she did a lot of she did a great deal for me too i recently just ordered two mandalorian capes thanks to the whole black series stuff so i'm gonna put one of my new capes on the old mandalorian we've gotten already like a year ago now if you think about it and whenever we get the new beskar armor at mandalorian in september i'm gonna put one on there too so She's got a lot of really cool stuff on there. I'd go give her a shout out. Um, she has an eBay page, but you there's something on like her Instagram that you want, which is just Rebel Ten Customs, all one word. Uh, if you go over there and you find something you want, you can DM her what you want. She'll give you a price, and then you just she makes the the whole thing very simple. Like I just gave her money from PayPal and told her my address and stuff, and she's like, "Cool, you'll have your stuff in like uh, in a week." I'm like, "Great." I'm going to go ahead and just reuse a shout-out just because he did help me out in remembering to buy that Sentinel figure. But D Amazing, who has a much more successful YouTube channel than we do, but he's also taking pictures from Mezco. He was the one that did the, did the pictures for this modern-day Wonder Woman. Mm. So a good photographer, a good reviewer, and uh, all-around nice guy. And as he always tells you, make sure you drink your water. <laughs> I love how he ends his videos. They're really good. So shout-out to D Amazing for reminding me to get a little piece of my childhood. My favorite ending for a random video that's used all the time goes to uh, Odd Ones Out, who says at the end of every video, and always remember to wear your seatbelt. <laughs> I mean, that's good like, advice. That doesn't relate to anything you're talking about, but it's, but good, it's advice. good advice. It totally is. <laughs> all right, guys, that has been our show, Alternate Heads. As always, like I said, we miss Brother Bryce. We'll be back in two weeks to do this again. Hopefully he will be here. He better be. Give him some love. Uh, Instagram, at Bryce Culver, or his Instagram toy page, Trapdoor Toys. And if you happen to see a Halloween 3, 3 pack of those let us know. kids, let us know because we need to it. get it for our boy. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram. You can follow the shows uh, at SCNS Live. You can follow
follow the show for Alternate Heads. I believe it's Alternate Podcast. I'll have to look back up. It's on my Instagram. I just have it saved. I'll probably have uh, to look up. I'm at the Near Plasma. I am at Jason the X on Twitter and Instagram. Check us out there. And that's pretty much it. So, guys, we'll see you in two weeks. As we say, always stop and smell the plastic. Catch you next. Wash your hands.